the whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall help you back. Please be seated. Ed, sir, would you tell us your name and Tracy. spell your last name for us? Tracy Edwards, E-D-W-A-R-D-S. Mr. Edwards, we're going to ask you to speak up very loudly into the microphone. Uh, I would like to know in what state do you reside at the present time? Louisiana. And how old are you, sir? 32. 32? 32. And you are single? Yes. Uh, you were in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on July the 22nd, 1991? Yes. And at or about that time, on that late afternoon, did you have occasion to see a person that you knew at that time or subsequently learned was a fellow by the name of Jeffrey Dahmer? Yes. So you were with a couple of your buddies, were you? That's correct. And what were you doing? Uh, we was drinking beer, just talking, hanging out, you know. About 6 o'clock at night, was this? Yeah, about 6, 6.15, whatever. Did you have occasion then to see Mr. Dahmer? Yeah, he approached us eventually and started talking to us. Yeah. Were you three black males? Yeah, uh, one, one white, two black males. So your friend? Yeah, my best friend was white. Yeah. When he came up and started talking to you, what is it that Mr. Dahmer said to you? Uh, he said he was just in the city from Chicago. He was taking care of her sick grandmother, I believe, in West Allis. Yeah. Did he have any further conversation with you and your friends? Yeah, he was just talking. He said he was a professional photographer. He usually pays people for pictures and stuff like that if anybody was interested in making money at that time. To, to have to pose for pictures. Yeah. Did he describe right. the kind of pictures that you were going to be posing for if you chose to take him up on the offer? Uh, he said nude. Nude. Right. You went up to the apartment. Tell us what happens when you get up to the apartment. Tell us what you observed, what your senses told you. Okay. First of all, it seemed like a normal apartment. When we got inside, he turned off burger alarms. I asked him why. First, it was a foul odor, okay? Tell and us about that. What kind of an odor? It was, was just it? like an odor. I didn't quite know what it was. You know, he told me a sewer pipe had broke and management would take care of it. Now, you're fully clothed. Yes. Okay. And you're sitting on a couch. Right. And he offers, he talks to you about uh, these, this posing and you weren't sure you are going to do it. Right. How much had you been offered to do the posing? A hundred dollars. Okay. And when he get, brings you the beer, he brings you rum and coke? Yeah, he bring that. Yeah, he brings the beer first, and then he brings the rum and coke. Okay, when you start talking about the fish in the fish tank, do you bring that up or does he? Uh, he does. And what do you do when he does that? I turn my turn to the right, like the fish tank is here. I'm turning all the way over here. You yeah. turn to your right to look at it. To look at the fish tank, right. And when that happens, what happens to you? Uh, all of a sudden, a handcuff and a knife is pulled on me. Yeah. Handcuff is placed on your body. Where? Uh, on my left wrist. And you see a knife. Yeah, the knife, yeah. Now, at that moment, what do you do? First, I feel fear. Then I ask him what's going on. You know, this is not necessary, you know, to pull a knife on me at that Are you moment. afraid? Uh -huh. Yes. Do you have any reason to know why he did that? None whatsoever. Did you have any idea at that time it was going to happen? No. Did that room have a TV set in it? Yes. Was there anything going on on the TV? Yeah, the Exorcist movies was playing at that time. There was an Exorcist movie on. Yeah. You know which one of them? Uh, the name, I'm not sure. I think it's three. I'm not sure which one. So there was a movie. Did you know it to be part of television or VCR? Uh, VCR. Normally, that's not on regular television, so I thought it was VCR. You knew there was a movie show. Right. Did you see him put it on, or was it on? No. When we first got into the apartment, he went through the back to the back bedroom, maybe he put it on then, I'm not sure. Okay. And then what happened? You're both sitting on the bed? Yes. Are you still in handcuffs? Yes. Is he holding the handcuff? Right. You still have the knife? Right. Is it pointed at your side as you've told us before? Right. You trying to be cool? Very much so. You're not, a, you're not fighting with him? No. What's your intention? What are you planning on doing? I'm getting away. I was contemplating on at a point, jumping out the window. I was basically talking with this person, trying to let him know I was his friend. Yeah. As you were sitting there on the bed, when he had you by the handcuff and a knife at your side, at that time, which would have been maybe 7 o'clock? Something like that. 
What impression was made upon your mind by the conduct, action, manner, expression, and conversation that you observed of Mr. Dahmer? His frame of mind is what you want to know, right? Okay, he acted. At times, he would go through, like, different changes with me, you know? One Tell minute, us about that. One minute, he's, like, nice. Then he was telling he didn't want people to leave him or abandon him, things of this nature. Well, what did you think about him as a person? What impression was made on your mind of this fellow that you're dealing with here? Yeah, that at times he wasn't himself, and then at times he was, was like a nice guy, you know. He would come and go different times, you know, throughout the whole time. Then he would, like, sit, being quiet at times, watching a movie, wanting me to watch the movie, you know, and just doing little tanning sounds, you know. Did you observe him watching the movie and how he would react to the movie? Right, he would, like, just start rocking back and forth when he, you know, certain parts of the movie or whatever. You have to say, what did he say, man? He was like chanting at certain times and rocking back and forth. Right? Tell us about his chanting. What was that all about? Uh, I'm not even sure, sir, but it was just like, I can't tell you the words. I couldn't understand what he was saying at that time. Can you mimic him? How it sounded? It was like a slow slur, like, mm, some of that nature, some close like that, I'm not sure. Did it keep on for a period of time? Off and on throughout the ordeal. And how about the, the movement back and forth? How, how was that being effectuated? Uh, just like back and forth, he would do it every now and then. You know? Just as you are rocking in right, your chair. Like this. Yeah. And chanting. And chanting. Was there any parts of the movie that was going on that you saw that he said anything about? It was like the part about the preacher that used to be a preacher that had got possessed and that uh and that uh it would seem like he was like interested in that part that part had his attention more than anything yeah. well, tell us about what you mean by that what impressions were made upon your mind when this was going on as to had his attention how would he how did he appear to you I appear like like it was like he wanted to mimic it or be like that part, you know, being demonized or whatever in that nature. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah, Ant like he wanted that, that type of movie, that part, certain parts of that part interested him, you know. It was like he changed with it at times. Then he would get more aggressive, try to get me to handcuff myself, both hands. He's told me it made him feel more dominant. Okay, did you and he move off of the bed at any time? He told me to lay down face down put both of my hands behind my back because he got, he changed again at that point, like he got more aggressive at that time. Okay, you now, know. but tell us, tell us, uh, did he still have the knife out? Yes, he still had the knife out. And what did you do? Okay, I kind of like laid on my sides for some reason. I guess God told me not to lay flat down or let this person handcuff me, so I didn't. So you were trying to stop that from happening, but you right. got down on the floor. Right. What did he do? He kind of laid across me, put his head across my chest at that point. What was he doing with his head? Pardon me? What did it appear to you he was doing with his head? What was he trying to do? Like he was listening to my heart, because at the point he told me he was going to eat my heart at that point. He said he was going to eat your heart? Yes, that's correct. So I suggested we sit on a couch. I had him button my shirt to try to make him feel more at ease. And then, and then I just sat on the couch like... And he just start going out of himself again. Yeah. Going out of himself? Yeah, he was like paying me no attention at that time. Like yeah. he wasn't there? He was, yeah, he started the chanting again and it's like just sitting there, you know. And then I just, for some reason, I said, well, I need to go to the bathroom again. And he didn't follow me at that point. So I reached up, I got up, and then I got hit him and I ran out. You hit him? Right. Did you have any other belongings there? Yeah, I have my bag right there at the end of the couch. I sit in exactly the same place I sit when I went in there. So when you got up, he let go of your cuff to let you go to the bathroom again? Uh, he didn't even, he just like, just let me stay there. I was going to go for the window. At that point, he didn't even have the cuff. It's like I wasn't even there anymore. And when you saw that, what would you do? Mm -hmm. I just seized the opportunity. I said, well, at least I'm going to die trying. I'm not just going to sit here. You know. well, what would you do, son? I hit him, and I ran towards the door, and he, like, was right there, tried to grab me, get me back in there. And what happened? Then I made it outside. So he wasn't able to bring you back bring in? Bring me back in there, no. He tried? He tried. And as you left that apartment, 
as you got away from them, I'm going to ask you again, what impressions were made on your mind by the conduct of Jeffrey Dahmer, by the actions of Jeffrey Dahmer, by the manner, expressions, and conversations of Jeffrey Dahmer that you observed? Can you give us some words? It's like I told the policeman that this freak, this crazy guy, was trying to hurt me. Yeah. Did you run out of the building? Yes, I did. Did you summon help? Yes. Milwaukee Police Department? That's correct. Did they come back there with you to the apartment? Right. Did you eventually go back into the apartment with the Milwaukee police officers? Yes. And then he was arrested? Right. 